Just before the tournament at Abu Dhabi, we met 23-year-old rookie Dan Housing from Holland at the local racing circuit. Dan emerged from last season's Challenge Tour in top gear, playing privileges in hand and new targets set. We've worked hard to get here, but now it's really only the beginning again. First goal is just to secure my card. Uh, that's a good job to get done in the first year. And he made a positive start with a top 20 finish at the South African Open. A former world amateur number two with 12 titles to his name, Dan couldn't wait to rub shoulders with some of the game's elite in his first event of the year at Abu Dhabi. It's one of the best tournaments in the year, I think, the way everything is set up. And, and yeah, the field is very strong, so it's just a great uh, test as well for, for yeah, where are you in a field like this? And, on one of the toughest courses, so uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the test. Dan enjoyed a dream start to his pro career with six top tens on the Challenge Tour last season, including two wins, his personal highlight being the Northern Ireland Open Challenge in August. I just was so fired up and so into it, but later in the year, for example, in Ukraine, I was thinking like, man, if I didn't make that putt and if I hadn't won that tournament, then where would I be now, you know? I, I would maybe think that if I hadn't made that putt, it, I wouldn't have won Ukraine and I maybe wouldn't have been here now. And at the same time as Housing was claiming his second title in Kharkov, compatriot Joost Lauten was sealing a win double for Holland with victory at the KLM Open, followed by wild celebrations. What Joost is doing, that helps to put golf on, on the map. Um, my win was extra special that we had two in one weekend, but I, I didn't um, notice a lot from it because after Ukraine we went to Kazakhstan and yeah maybe if I was home I would have uh, noticed a bit more. Lauten is the leading Dutch golfer in the world rankings, housing is number two, and Lauten's tie for third in the Volvo Golf Champions impressed his young admirer. What he's doing is it's really amazing. The last uh, two years, he he played so well, and now he's in the top 50 of the world and playing all the big tournaments. And yeah, that's that's where you want to go as well. To have it so close to you, sort of in um, in Holland, yeah, that that's very uh, inspiring. So don't be surprised to see Dan Housing in the fast lane on the European Tour in the near future, just as he was when he first set foot here on Abu Dhabi's Yas Marina circuit last year. But when uh, the Grand Challenge Tour Grand Final was in Dubai, the Formula One was here and uh, I managed to uh, fetch some tickets, went to watch and yeah, it, was, uh, it was amazing. A Formula One driver in the making, you think? Well, it's not the first time he's tried his hand, but the last time wasn't quite so brave or impressive. On the PlayStation I have the Formula One game. And um, this was one of the tracks that I liked, so I, I, I raced it a bit more than the other ones. So I, I knew uh, the corners and the lines a little bit already. It was amazing, man. To do an interview and then to do stuff like this, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's like a dream come true. I've always wanted to uh, race cars and I got it for my birthday as well, uh, a race day, but I never got to do it. And then to do it here on the track, that I know is, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. I already told you, I'm in my second life, I want to be F1 driver. <laughs>